All right guys, I'm Big Z, and this is Uncle Ben. And today we're doing something a little bit different than we're used to doing. You don't normally see Uncle Ben on the video, so that's new, so. Welcome. And then uh, we got something a little different for everybody. We're gonna do a first look at a Can-Am. What the heck? We don't drive Can-Ams around here, we're Razor guys. But we're doing something different. We got a nice car from Can-Am to check out. We got a 2020 Can-Am. Maverick X3 DS Turbo R. So this is a 172 horsepower machine. Um, I've ridden it over at Takeover in Oregon on the dunes. Uh, was pretty impressed, but we haven't been out here on the dirt. So we're gonna check it here at our local RV park. Uh, put it through some loops, put it through some sand, some hill climbs, some trail riding, some trees. And uh, we got a nice little rally course that we put together uh, a couple years ago that we'll try it out on and see how it handles and compares to, uh, to the turbo. <laughs> put up or let that go. Put up or let that go. You, you, I sit up and lift that bro. I've been trying to get in shape, but I hit that slow. I've been chopping my tape, looking at the drift that stone. Need a girl with a waist to let it wave that go. Way fast, gotta get a little break fast. And ain't sapping go, then hit that. The go round seven o'clock so I can hit that. Slow moving in traffic, gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. No, trying to get on top, they better get that. So I don't wanna get caught up in any old ass. No, from long, long ago. Let me see. What are your first thoughts? You got it. You drove it around the park just for a few seconds. What do you think so far? I like the power. I'm not too sure about this whole laid back position. I find myself leaning forward. Pulling yourself forward more? Um, getting in and out. <laughs> not for this guy. <laughs> Maybe if we sat the seat down, took it off the riser a little bit. Yeah, there could be some adjustments, but just coming into it stock, it's uh, definitely the ergonomics are not what I'm used to. Well, let's go find out what you can do with it. All right. Don't do drugs. Sit up and lift that bro. I've been trying to get in shape, but I lift that slow. I've been chopping my tape, looking at the drift that stone. Need a girl with a waist to let it way fast go. Way fast, gotta get a little break fast. And ASAP to go, then hit that. The go round 7 o'clock so I can hit that. Slow moving the traffic, gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that though, trying to get on top, they better get that so I don't wanna get caught up in any old ass no from long long ago. Let me say back, put up or let that go. Oh. Yeah. Put up or let that go. Oh. So you were just out hucking it off a little bumper there and I can hear it bottoming out. What uh what did it feel like? I couldn't feel it bottoming out, just nice and smooth. Really? So you didn't hear the you didn't feel the thud, you just heard the thud. Yeah, it just sounded like something was loose or rocks, or but it didn't feel jarring at all. Huh. Well, let's give you a little more shock and see what happens. All right. Get up and lift that roll. I'm trying to get in shape, but I lift that slow. I've been chopping my tape, looking at the drift that stone. Need a girl with a waist to let it way fast go. Way fast, gotta get a little break fast and ASAP and go. Then hit that, the go round 7 o'clock so I can hit that. Slow moving the traffic, gotta get that. Gotta get that, gotta get that. No, trying to get on top, they better get that. So I don't want to get caught up in any old ass. No, from long, long ago. Let me say back, put up or let that go. Put up or let that go. You had a good good time out riding the can am i did what was your uh, first impressions it has lots of power i was uh, quite impressed with the, the power band on it it's very smooth very very long what about the responsiveness like how fast it builds the power up yeah it's uh pretty quick pretty quick um the razor's a little bit more linear where this seems like it ramps up faster yeah, it's like instant power, instant go. Um, kind of worried about having the smaller tires and all that, but I uh, didn't even notice that at all. Really? You were just kind of in the moment? Yeah, uh, steering was very responsive, um, very quick. Uh, I would say a little more uh, ratio than the, than the Razors. Um, a lot of people say the Razors are great for in the woods and going through stuff, but these little DS's, they seem to have the nimbleness that you would want. 
Yeah, it was, uh, it, at first it was a little, took, it was like, whoa, whoa, and then, but by five minutes into it, it was like, this is, this is nice. It seemed natural? Very natural. And it's a little bit longer wheelbase than, than the Razor. Uh, you have a two-seat Razor Turbo, and this one's a little bit longer. So you're at about a 96 wheelbase. This is at like a 10, 106 wheelbase or so. Did that, did you feel that at all? Um, not really. It uh, didn't feel longer? It, it didn't feel longer. Um, but it but it, it stuck to the ground um, we did a couple times got it up in the air um, and kind of did a little handstand there in the in the basin there that was uh, kind of fun but uh, it stayed very it stayed pretty flat and very very controlled all right so you're in the cab now what were some of your first impressions on kind of just the difference between a Polaris and a Can-Am like what were your thoughts sitting down in it well, you're definitely stretched way more out. Um, you got to keep your legs way out in front of you compared to the Razor, and uh, that kind of took a lot of a lot of getting used to. I don't know if I really like it. I, I did find myself a lot hanging onto the steering wheel, doing a lot of this instead of being back in the seat. Um, I, we've been out for a couple hours, and my back kind of feels like it's getting a little sore just probably because I'm not relaxed in this position so um, do you think harnesses would help that hold you down well definitely harnesses would keep you in your seat um, I don't know if that would allow me to relax because my neck would still want to be in this position rather than this position ergonomics in here um, not a big fan of the door latches everything else sight lines are are, are different but I didn't feel it really impeded me being able to see what I needed to see. Other than on hill climbing, you really can't see your front end. Um, and uh, that that was kind of annoying really when I was finding myself pulling myself forward. Trying to find your tires? Trying, trying to find where my front end was. Did you feel like the additional horsepower to swing the tail end around helped you at all? Yes, I did, I did enjoy that. <laughs> you enjoyed it, but did I, it help I, you drive better? Uh, I... I don't know if it really drives any better, but it definitely suits my driving style better. <laughs> put a bigger grin on your face? It did put a very big grin on my face that you could not see in my helmet. <laughs> I heard you giggling a few times. Is this car something you would consider, you would suggest to consider to take a look at if you were into a market for a two-seater turbo car versus maybe the standard Razor turbo? Yes, I would definitely make this a contender. Uh, I think the biggest thing is going to be body size and, and how you fit in it, though. Um, that would be my big concern. Um, as far as the machine itself and its capabilities, very impressed with the suspension uh, in soft mode. had lots of forgiveness in it, and it didn't feel like it bottomed out a lot. It was a very capable car. The uh, Definitely a lot of power and, and very smooth power. Um, it felt pretty stable, pretty flat uh, in in the terrain that we were on today. Um, definitely missing the front end a lot and having to guess where you're at on that. Um, suspension wise, I thought it was very, very capable. I really uh, was impressed with the soft on it. Um, it was very forgiving, but yet enough to keep it from bottoming out a lot. Overall, ergonomics in the cab are, well, a little less than I desire. How does the seat feel? The seat feels good, but it's a little too far back. It's kind of just not a fit that I'm used to, and, and I don't know if I really like it. You prefer more of a truck style? Yeah, a little more truck style, a little more. I want that clearance of my sight line, um, less sports car-like. So if you were to give this a thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle, where would you put it? I put it right in the middle. Right in the middle, kind of yeah, a. Yeah, it ha its cons sort of balance out its pluses. So, um, but if you were looking for a two-seater, uh, getting into this definitely has good power and good ride. So uh, could could enjoy a lot of trails with this. All right, so if someone's looking to buy, they should at least try sitting in it and see how that Sit feels. Sit in it and, and find your style um, because it definitely is a lot different. There's definitely two different things going on. There. All right, well, that's going to wrap up today. We uh, got to turn this one back in, keep trying different stuff and see how it goes, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this helps somebody out and 
we had fun doing it. So till the next one, see ya. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he's doing everything in backwards. Pretty fast. <laughs> Couldn't find you after the first whip. Uh, I couldn't see you either. <laughs>